Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to do a bare metal Fedora review. Um, I get a lot of criticism. It's like, oh, I stopped. In fact, I read a comment today. I stopped watching if you said virtual machine. Dude, virtual machines work just fine. They do. Literally, especially if you have a good system. This is a video production computer specifically designed to test machines. You don't like virtual machines? Stop using the internet because virtually the entire internet's run on virtual machines. All right. Um, virtualization is a real thing. Uh, but, but just so you guys know, I actually do do full on distro reviews. Um, the only, the reason I do quick looks or, or fresh installs or things like that is to get a good first impression for a new user. But I do actually every now and again do a review of something that I've been running for a while. And this week it is Fedora. Now I've been running Fedora for a little bit less than a week and it's not going to make it a whole week. It's bad. Um, and so let's talk about a couple reasons why and then we'll kind of jump on over to that. Um, ultimately, um, ultimately some people say, oh, it uses GNOME and you just don't like GNOME. And the reality is I know how to use GNOME a lot. I use GNOME a lot. I don't like it, but I use it a lot. I use GNOME on Tails a lot. Uh, there's a few other things that I've used it for, which is okay. Even Ubuntu um, it seems to work just fine. Not my preference desktop environment wise. The difference is you really need to run it with a keyboard rather than running with a mouse. And which is, is kind of a funny thing because GNOME has more of a Mac feel to it, but a Mac is not a keyboard intensive system. Hotkeying on Macs is just like non-existent. Everything's got to be done in the GUI with point and click. Well, GNOME has more of a Mac look to it, but you really can't do a lot point and click as easily as you can in other uh, environment setups. Uh, so it's much more keyboard intensive. So it's not, uh, in and of itself, it's not uh, a horrible desktop. I find I don't like it because it doesn't jive with my workflow and I do use a lot of mouse interfacing. What I actually do is a combination of keyboard and mouse. That's why I'm so effective on Cinnamon because it's a combination of keyboard and mouse things that allows me to navigate through the, through the system twice as fast than just using a mouse or just using keyboards. And I can't do that with GNOME. Uh, that's why I don't like GNOME. So that's all I'm going to say about the GNOME system unless there's something else here that comes directly up in it. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm going to try and focus everything else on Fedora. Now the second thing I have to say is that Fedora runs Wayland and pretty much only Wayland with no other real option. And so the problem is Wayland does not work with a lot of capture devices. It doesn't work with simple screen recorder. It, I don't think it works with OBS. I'm not even fighting to try and get OBS over there. So we have a very crude setup. I'm literally pointing the other web camera at the screen. It looks a little bit better than, than that in reality, uh, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time over there. I'm just going to kind of walk through some things. So um, my apologies for the crudeness and for people who don't like this crudeness, um, you can offer to buy me a capture card. I'll be glad to do a lot more things like this with a capture card. It's simply a, a high price item that has a, uh, it's a, um, a low priority for me. Um, so I'm just going to have to deal with the crudity of this. So of course, uh, we have our, uh, and this allows me to point to things too. So of course in our, in our upper, uh, upper, uh, whoop. Kitty's trying to jump up here. All right. So in our, in our upper right, of course, we have our basic GNOME stuff. I had to install caffeine because GNOME is even like you can be on the website, even in between YouTube videos, you'll look up to change your YouTube video and the screens already went blank on you and you got to push the thing up, re-enter the password. Um, that's probably more of a gnome thing, but, uh, fortunately installing things like caffeine is simply an extension. So that's actually easy. Uh, we have our basic setup. I really didn't change a lot. Uh, the only thing I really changed is I did go into the extensions and they do have the item to put your tasks at the bottom of the screen, which is, uh, is good and important for me to see what's open, where it is, and, and things like that. One of the things that you'll notice on my desktop, I was actually able to utilize my uh, desktop, uh, get my desktop icons on here. There's two different extensions. One of them is quite hilarious. It puts desktop icons on the desktop, but you can't actually do anything with them, which completely defeats the purpose. Whatever, uh, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Um, but what I can't get on there 
I can't get the computer, I can't get the network, I can't get, you know, all the other things that I want. Now, it is my understanding that this also is a GNOME thing, that GNOME has been pulling functionality of the desktop out. And that's another reason I cannot stand this desktop. I work on the desktop and most of us, we, if you figure it out how the desktop works, you can be much more efficient than digging through folders and things. And yeah, the opposite can be said the other way. If you're used to doing things in the documents, whatever else, you can be used to that. But I have six or seven projects going at any given time. I have to be able to get to them uh, easily. So I use the desktop to triage. Um, so let's get on with uh, what are the things about Fedora that are annoying. Uh, first and foremost, um, you know what? Let's start with what works. What have we got on a spacecraft that's good? Let's start with what works. Um, once I fought with the um, once I fought with the codex, which was not an easy task. Uh, I was able to play DVDs only through VLC player, which comes with its own codex. I also, though, was able to extract, I did a test to extract something off a DVD with Handbrake. That actually works. You can't play it outside of VLC, but it'll work. The biggest, um, uh, uh, let's see, I'm focusing on good stuff now. Good stuff now. Um, like any other Linux distro, RPM worked great. I wanted to install Skype. So um, utilizing the .RPM download from Skype package, that worked just as fine. Uh, and I was able to port in my settings for both Thunderbird, Evolution, and Firefox. So all the work that I've been doing on the other systems um, was, uh, it was basically able to be saved. In other words, I don't have to reset my emails. I don't have to reset... Uh, all that other stuff because everything came with it ported from the other system. Um, okay, we got to focus on the bad because that's about all I came up with on the positive end. Um, on the negative end of this guy, uh, what are the biggest problems? Well, like Cody's not in the repos. You got to add extra repos to get Cody to work. And that's something that I really want to have working on my system. Um, I cannot use Chromium for some reason. I use Chromium pretty much exclusively. This is my YouTube thing. While we're talking about this, this is the other problem. It takes forever for anything to load. This I'm pretty sure has to do with Wayland. Uh, we have the same problem if you have an Ubuntu build laying around. Ubuntu did a great thing where they give you the option to choose between Wayland um, or, um, or Xorg. And if you use X, Everything's fast, snappy, whatever else. If you go into Wayland, it is slow as molasses. And that's what we've gotten to here. The problem is I can't actually do anything with YouTube. Um, so here's Toss is on right now. So let's go ahead and play Toss. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't play Toss. Your video currently does not recognize any of the video formats available. And so before you try and tell me the solution, I've read every single solution. I think I've installed every single codec pack there is to install on Fedora and I still have nothing. So I am left to use GNOME Web to do YouTube stuff. Firefox generally works pretty well, but my Firefox is, is uh, requisitioned for other purposes, not YouTube videos. And so I can come over here, but the biggest challenge that I encounter is how slow and horrible this this browser is. Um, I realize there's people that like this, but I cannot use this. It is, it's kind of slow, it's kind of crazy. Uh, once again, uh, we'll try and boot up Firefox. That one booted up pretty quick. Um, uh, generally, when I boot things up, it is not booting up very well. Um, other negatives. Uh, obviously, I was talking about the, the reason why we can't do this more gracefully. Well, if I go through my simple screen recorder, um, so I'm going to go through and set everything up and start my preview. Oh, it's black. It will only record a black screen. So here, I'll go ahead and start recording. Um, blah, blah, blah. Of course, it's not recording audio. I don't have to set up to do that, apparently. Let's go ahead and pause recording. Let's save the recording. That saves in the videos folder. Let me find the videos folder. Um, do, 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 do. There it is. Oh, it's unable to play the file because it records an H.264 and there is no decoder required to play that. Let me just try finding in software. I thought I installed every codec pack that was there. Maybe I missed one. Well, we have that one. 
there are a bunch more. Um, I did not install the H.264 one. Let me give that a try. Um, I did install, there's two or three other ones. In fact, I thought I installed the GStreamer one. I did all these through the terminal. So I didn't do them in the software store. Let's see if this works. Maybe that's the problem. Please install, maybe, <laughs> screw it. <laughs> this is the problem, I don't know, that was the video I tested. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see, let's go back into videos. Oh, it, look at that, it is actually playing now, that's exciting. So it is a very nice black screen that it records. I'd love it to record anything else. Like I said, that's something that, uh, that it does that because uh, because of um, uh, does that because of the uh, Wayland. I'm pretty sure, but it doesn't give us any other options. Maybe we can install something else. We're gonna try and we're gonna try playing a uh, YouTube video this time. See if it works. Maybe it does. No, of course not. Why would it work? <laughs> oh boy um let's see i think a lot of the other gripes that i had was more to do with uh with gnome than anything else so i'm not going to comment anymore on those but um overall the experience this thing is slow it's frustrating it's buggy it's encumbering and uh ultimately uh ultimately it caused a lot of problems i can generally tell how good a distro is by how much I tend to want to reload into my other distros. So I just came to Fedora from Debian uh, on the Cinnamon desktop environment. And when I did that, uh, Debian on the Cinnamon desktop environment, um, that was running for two months. I really only intended to run it for about two weeks to a month, ran it for two months, and I never once went into uh, the main Linux distro that's installed on that system because, <laughs> man, Debian rocks. Um, Fedora on the other side, I found myself booting into, uh, I found myself booting into Linux Mint on this computer, which is what's in the hard drive of this computer, uh, more often than, uh, more often than not, because either just things weren't working, um, I just couldn't function the way I should be able to function. Uh, it's just the user experience on this was horrible. I think a lot of it's because uh, Fedora locks us into uh, essentially the free software. It's harder to install. Now it's easier now in Fedora 28 to install the new, um, the, the non-proprietary, uh, excuse me, to install the proprietary devices. It's easier now than it has been in the past, but it's still not a very good user experience. Um, also, the fact that they lock us exclusively into Wayland is, oh, it's, it's, it's painful. Um, it doesn't send to work right, particularly the things I do where I need to interface between different, uh, you know, different videos, different cameras, different things. Um, it just doesn't let you do it. It just doesn't. And so um, too many issues, too many problems. Too difficult to get uh, get many of the critical functions to work. I found myself having to find other alternatives to software than what was there. So my apologies if you like Fedora. I was really had high hopes for this build because they have made a lot of positive strides. Uh, it is certainly easier to install the uh, the non free um, the non free packages than it has been in the past, where before they were flat out hostile to doing that. At least now they give you the option. Um, but in this case here, um, it's, it was, it's just too painful. It's just too painful. Um, too many issues, too many problems, too many challenges. So, uh, I can probably say that within a couple of days, uh, Fedora is going to be wiped off of this thing. I'm going to go with something else. Uh, so that's that. Um, if you like Fedora, that's okay. I'm not mad at anybody. Uh, the great thing about Fedora, of course, they have a lot of support. Uh, they have a lot of users. There's a lot of information about solving problems, and they really do stick to a a free first philosophy. And those are all great high praises for them. And like I said, there were some things that that did work out pretty well on the system. Uh, it's not a distro for me. Um, it certainly is not one I'd recommend for new people because it's just too difficult to get basic functionality like video playback working. Uh, fortunately, I think Firefox worked well because it has the uh, 
<laughs> has the DRM built into it. I think that's the only reason why Firefox works so well. Uh, it did, like I said, though, I just can't use uh, Firefox for YouTube because Firefox does other things on this PC. Uh, so thanks for making it through this. Yes, this was bare metal, and I do apologize for the crudity of this. I generally prefer to load up Simple Screen Recorder on the uh, on the computer we're doing it and have a much smoother, much more graceful uh, review to show you what's going on. But it's I'm sure I can get around that. But I'm not spending I'm not spending a couple of hours to try and get around that issue. Um, for the purpose of doing a review for a distro that I'm going to wipe off the computer in a couple of days. So uh, that's that. So let me know what you thought uh, in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to check out the links down below. You can help support the channel if you want to do that. Uh, switch to linux.com forward slash support. We'll have all of those and uh, check out the other videos on the channel. So thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.